This is so ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. When I searched Sparridge on YouTube and saw his new profile picture, I started dying. I was like, oh my god, this this guy is completely out of his mind. If he thinks he can just pretend to everyone that he suddenly grew a full head of hair, it is completely comical. It, it is so funny. I mean, his old profile picture, he had this picture for like God knows how many years, ever since he started his channel. And suddenly, oh, the hair is back from all the nutrients in my raw diet. I'm just curious what his subscribers think because now he's just highlighting his new hairline. You know, look at this full head of hair doing the comb over. Well, back to reality. That was reality. It's just insulting at this point to the intelligence of his viewers that he's been begging for money. Like... <laughs> I can't. I, is this is this seriously what's going on? Is this some big inside joke? What's the deal here? What's the deal? You know, look, there's nothing wrong with getting a hair transplant. Like I've done things like surgically for my appearance too, but like I've been open and honest about like what you can and can't achieve with your diet. And for look, if he just admitted it, like hey, you know. I wasn't happy with my hairline. Maybe it was from stuff I ate before the raw diet. Da, da, da. But uh, to my understanding, the way a hair transplant works is you can still lose the hair. So I wouldn't be surprised if he uh, he started losing the hairline with his uh, retarded diet. That's not working so well. Now, when did this all start? When did Sparridge leave the ball divorce in the dust? If you guys are confused about that video title, uh, there's a lot of carnivore dieters that are bald or going bald. So, two years ago ish, you know, if we go to his video history, there's one point where he goes from just combing his hair back with the receded hairline to a shaved head, which is August of 2021. And then about three months later in November, his hairline suddenly moves forward, but he shaved his head. So, I, I think this was the hairline tattoo that we spoke about. Uh, I don't think we did a whole video on it, but I did mention it in a live stream or something. So he got this like needling thing where they put dots on your head to make it look like you have a shaved head, but you have to keep shaving your head. And that's pretty obvious because then, you know, for I think at least a year in all of his videos, he has a shaved head. He's not letting his hair grow, which clearly means, I mean... <laughs> that he got the tattoo but it's funny because once you get that tattoo you have to shave your head every day so it's a lot of work i guess he got sick of doing that because then in april of 2022 he starts wearing a hat so what is that less than a year maybe seven eight nine months he starts wearing a hat so i'm guessing he got sick of shaving his head because then two weeks ago, which is about a year later. And I think that's the recovery time for the hair transplant. Oh, suddenly his hair is back. It's, it's comical, dude. It's com And then he makes this video, the first video back with this hair transplant, my future plans. And he's begging for cryptocurrency, C continuously begging for money. I don't know. Like he must delete so many comments for this, but I'm not going to really go into too much detail and that type of stuff because there's some guy that's been on top of this three months ago uh this guy channel sverage go this parody video sverage grows new hair and probably so apparently he's covering drama then he did another video four weeks ago the mystery of Godus's hairline revealed and then uh i mean he did a whole live stream on this five days ago apparently for an, an hour and a half which we don't have time for <laughs> Then he, he did another video three months ago, Sparage, my natural hairline transplant. This guy is uh, definitely covering uh, all the Sparage content. So what we'll do is uh, watch the more recent ones, I guess. So this one was four weeks ago, and then there's one, there's two from three months ago. Oh, no, but then he, he also covered the hairline tattoo. So uh, this guy's <laughs> full coverage. Hey yo, what's up guys? 
Many of you have been asking <laughs> about my son, but I actually don't fucking care about him anymore. This guy's pretty funny. He does an impression too. So then, all right. So it looks like he's explaining what the procedure is, and then he goes to show um, evidence of of what Sverige got. Makeup and implants are unnatural. Also, Sverige permanent makeup and head. <laughs> okay, so so that that's that was established. That was established. Greetings, viewers. Today we are going to reveal the mystery. A real man doesn't care what anybody thinks of him. Also, bleaches his teeth and gets a hair transplant and hopes nobody notices. The, the, the guy is just, it's just, the way he went about it, like, talking about how all this stuff is unnatural and being so vehemently against it, and then he just goes and does stuff like that himself. <laughs> Lying is totally natural. <laughs> the fact that he can lie so blatantly and convincingly is quite scary considering his character it's just it's just he has a bunch of delusional followers <laughs> very hairline is a conspiracy since i started black full content i use color filters and adjust the brightness to make my skin look way better <laughs> okay so let let we'll watch the hey guys, more recent one many of you have been asking about my new hairdo and so i thought Honestly, it looks pretty good on him, but the fact that he keeps it a secret is so autistic. He pretends like it's his natural hair, which is obviously not. And his followers are actually blown away by his new natural hair due to thinking that it comes from his diet. Kudos to him for finding such a gullible set of yes men. That's a I don't believe that. I don't believe that these people are so stupid that they think that natural hair comes from his diet. I, I find that so hard to believe. There is no evidence whatsoever in the history of humanity that these people like a bald person has grown back their hair if, if you guys want to watch all these other videos you can go to this guy's channel but we'll watch guys. this last one fully. my hairline has finally detoxed and now it is fully <laughs> re-emerged the scarlet is no more and i am no longer a skinhead i now have turkish pubic hair that has been refurbished <laughs> And placed on my skull. <laughs> because, yeah. That is how you show dominance in nature. You see, the Native Americans used to scalp their enemies. What they don't tell you is that this was used for hair transplants. <laughs> so, you know, hair transplants are totally natural and normal, <laughs> so to speak. Yeah. So any of you who question where my money... Bro, what I'm living for is when he starts losing the hair again, if he's going to do the same thing over and again. Like, he's going to start wearing bandanas all the time, wear a hat, and then get a secret transplant again. Is the cycle going to repeat itself? For court case to get the way back from Luna, you'll know where it is now. It is on my head. <laughs> but yeah. I like this guy's. This guy's funny, but... He needs to be less emotional in his Farage impression. He needs to be just like completely monotone, dead psychopath. Now we know why he wasn't seen once without the cap on his head for the past eight months or so. Before using it to cover the transplant wounds and healing, he had to let the hair on the sides and back rod enough so some of it could be plucked and transplanted. Without the hat, the hairline tattoo would have been obvious. He sold his soul for a kindergarten hairline. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably on hair loss medication too, and let's not forget the antibiotics. Very natural. I guess we'll find out, right? Because everyone who gets a hair transplant take, has to take the medication, right? I, I've, I've never looked into it, but I'm assuming that you have to take like finasteride and all that stuff. That's really, really bad for you. Yeah. Next, um, you know, me and uh, Primal Bell, we we got a two for one. Yeah, she got her nose fixed. Um, that's why she hasn't been on camera now for a while, because her nose is still recovering. Is that real? Did they both go to Turkey? Turkey is known for hair transplants and nose jobs. Maybe just plastic surgery in general, not 100% on that. And yeah, so the two for one was her nose and my hair. And yeah, now we look, and we look incredible. We look, but I look 20 years, 20 years young. I mean... My hairline wasn't even this good when I was like 20, so it's just totally the best thing that could have happened to me, you know, just detox, uh, raw meat, yeah, raw meat to regrow your hair eye, and uh, yeah. 
Can someone please tell me, is that what he's actually saying? Is that what he's actually saying? I, I still don't believe it. I, I just... Uh, I'll be giving uh, hairline consultations <laughs> for people who want to... Uh, I should be giving hairline consultations. But of course, of course, you know, I will deny it on my official channel. But, you know, guys, here I like to keep things truthful for my real subscribers. Also, yeah, could you please stop commenting about this? on my uh live stream because it, it takes a lot of effort to delete all the comments <laughs> of you criticizing my natural hair transplant okay i mean if it wasn't like bad enough that like all the stuff he says the stuff about diet and how crazy and he like this has to be the last straw for some people right that he would beg people for all this money get the hair transplant, and then pretend like nothing happened and still spout the dietary nonsense. It's just very dishonest. Simply keep it to yourself and give me more Bitcoin and I will soon replace... Well, I'm going to get um, a shin. You know the shin uh, splice where it makes you taller? That will be, uh, that will be the next one. And uh, yeah. No, that's the the limb lengthening surgery T to me that that's just so crazy one that's that's not a legitimate surgery like the the hairline stuff and the hair transplant and those jobs that's acceptable but that limb lengthening stuff is a butcher job and you'll never walk again in your life like walk straight again in your life it's ridiculous plus with i think the amount of money that that surgery is dude you can go to like any country for the most part and hire hookers for like three years straight that'll that'll set your brain straight if you're thinking about breaking your legs to be taller you know for me if i wanted to be you know two three four inches taller for that amount of money that they charge i think it's like two hundred thousand, maybe less now you can literally like drown yourself in mexican pussy and you won't care about your height at that point you might you know your pee, -pee might fall off but uh, Belle, she needs new boobs, she needs new butt. Uh, uh, I think we get the idea. I think we get the idea. O overall, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. And, I mean, he's still getting, you know, a lot of views on his videos, you know? But what would it, what would that be? That would be like, 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 imagine if I started just wearing wigs and putting on makeup and just kept doing videos, but, like, Anytime someone left a comment about it, I just deleted it, you know? Imagine. That's literally, that's like, okay, maybe maybe not as severe as that. But, but, but what, imagine if like, I, I got like a, a really like kind of obvious fake beard, you know? Like I had someone do makeup or something and I just started doing videos with like a fake beard every single day. Like, and then just deleting the comments. That That's kind of what it would be like. Like me getting a hair transplant on my on my face or something. <laughs> i can't dude i can't he had to change the profile picture that is hilarious i can't i can't dude he goes from like all this natural crap literally like rubbing blood on it i i i was like what did this guy do in this video this is crazy it looks like a psycho he was apparently he was rubbing blood on his face or something like literally for like health and being natural but then like two years later hair transplant on propecia you know is that what those hair transplant drugs are called propecia and finasteride and minoxidil i think that's what they're called anyway thank you guys for joining me uh hopefully you were as entertained as i was because i thought this was genuinely hilarious uh if you guys do want to support me you can check out frank com where you will see all of my businesses because I cannot stoop down to a level of begging people for money, unfortunately. Not in my blood. Outside of that, as always, if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell, and I'll see you guys soon. See, I wear a hat because I didn't comb my hair, not because I'm going bald.